www.decibits.com Hi, I'm Famina B. For news, gossip and gop shop, check out decibits.com. Things started with patterns. I was very young, I was into henna. I'm henna artist also, I do that. Um, and I was just fascinated by all these ethnically, you know, diverse patterns. I come from a Kashmiri background, so everything in the family, you know, when I was growing up, everything's patterned from our clothes to our tablecloths to our carpets, wallpaper, everything. And I think just, you know, subconsciously it's all there. And I just used to sit there and draw and draw. And all my uh, patterns used to start with the center point. And I didn't really understand why that was. And then over the course of my degree on my BA, um, I think that brought me closer to my religion and made me realize that it was all to do with the idea of, um, you know, one God and everything stemming from that. And I, and I still draw, like until now, I'm still working on a series of uh, mandalas, circular patterns, and they just kind of go on forever and they get complex and complex. And it's just the idea of everything coming back to one thing and we're all, we're all connected in one way. So um, that's not how it all started. But yeah, they're all hand-drawn. I hate using digital media to like, you know, Photoshop and stuff, but which I've had to use. I'll be showcasing six um, prints. They're a series of prints and it's called Because You Can. It was all about the idea and the concept of um, women in society. And it was to do with um, Muslim women, being a young Muslim, British um, young Muslim woman uh, in the society. I just found that there was a lot of negative media reviews on us and um, the whole idea of that we can't do certain things, uh, you know, not being able, you know, like education, the whole thing that happened with Malala and stuff. And uh, I just wanted to put something out there in, in terms of you know fine art to kind of show people that you know we can be humorous we can be fun and playful and to kind of play on viewers judgment as well so i did a series of prints and they all incorporated um pattern and within the patterns you kind of find women um doing fun and you know things that you wouldn't expect them to do and they're all wearing hijab i guess when the viewer looks at my work they'll find that they have to really be intimate with the work you have to stop there and look at it um, for you to kind of see what's happening. It's not one glance thing. It's not, it's about meaning within it, I guess. And you've got to really stand there and look at it. And then things are revealed to you within the patterns. So there's different levels of engagement with the audience. I did a workshop with a friend of mine who, uh, she had an exhibition here, uh, Magajata Adamaska, and her show was about migration. And it was called Front Room Exhibition. And there we had a workshop to, and what we did was had a discussion with the local community and we were talking about what does it mean to be British and when we start we started talking about that and I started talking to um, the people who run the gallery and they were interested in what I do and um, they just approached me like that it's basically all about networking and going to places meeting people talking about your work um, a lot of it is personal like it's what I feel or the views that I have but I put them into pattern I put them into um, I put it into creativity. I find that issues that I have with society or comments that I want to make, I'd use um, art as a medium to reflect that. And I think it's the best way to get communities to come together. And right now my concept has moved on from what I was doing before about women. And it's come to the idea of um, using art as a way to create dialogue between communities. And that's through workshops and you know, getting people to kind of talk about things if you present it to them in a visual form. And um, I think that's, I think creativity is the best way because people connect to each other through that.